Lord, just speak to him, Lord. Hey, y'all, this is how awkward I be looking with the uh, tripod. Just look at the reflection in the background. <laughs> imagine, imagine walking around and you got, you got that thing like that. Who's gonna look at you and look crazy? <laughs> Hey, right, my leaders, man, I want to I wanna share with y'all some energy real quick, man. Um, so last night, I realized something while I was reading my Bible. And this is, this is crazy because it's going to speak to somebody. We all know that the enemy, this is what the enemy comes to do. What's going on, man? <laughs> it's, it's the Garden of Eden today. When it's sunny outside like this, people start acting a fool. Um, what I realized last night, I'm just going to speak from the heart. Um, when I was reading my Bible last night, okay, literally, I became aroused, okay? And I thought this was awkward because who gets aroused while reading the Word of God? You may get ignited, your spirit may be fired up, things of that nature, but you're not necessarily sitting here getting aroused. And I realized something about um, about lust and about, you know, just the battle with, with pornography and keeping our sexual purity is that the enemy doesn't just utilize our sexual desires, our lustful cravings to get us to fall short. My leaders. The enemy uses sexual desires in order to also distract. Can I speak to y'all for a second? Holy Spirit, can I speak this message? Think about this for a second. I was in my car just thinking about this for a second. Anytime, and let me know if you've noticed this in the comment section below, but anytime you are on the verge of doing something phenomenal, right? You're on the verge of doing something great, doing something spectacular, all of a sudden, there's this distraction that comes in, right? For some of you all, it may not even be the sexual desires. It may be, maybe it's anger, maybe it's irritation, maybe it's a phone call, you know, it's something. Here I am, little old me, you know what I mean? Sitting on, laying in my bed, just laying there. I got my Bible, I'm reading Judges. I'm like, man, okay, God, I want you to speak to me. I want you to speak to me so I can get a word, maybe give to, to my leaders that are watching this, you all, or if it's not for my leaders, let me just get a word for myself, you know? And I'm just seeking and I'm reading and I'm reading and all of a sudden, boom, I get this, this desire, I get this urge. And I'm like, yo, Lord, where did this come from? Well, I'm noticing it. I'm sitting there noticing the, the desire and the craving. I'm like, man, you know, God, please forgive me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, Lord, please forgive me. I want to focus on your word, but I'm distracted by my lustful cravings. I'm distracted by my sexual desires. And I don't know if any of you all had uh, a similar experience. Um, I was just looking at somebody had a Toyota Corolla. I said, Did I leave my keys in the, uh, in the, in the car? <laughs> Doing a YouTube video and somebody drives off with my car. That would be hilarious. Um, but just, I don't know if y'all ever had that experience where you're trying to do the right thing and all of a sudden there's a distraction that comes your way. Like, and have you noticed it? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes, but have you time after time after time noticed it, okay? This one was rare because it was like, yo, I'm sitting here reading my Bible. Why did this happen? And so I realized just to, for, for distraction, because what happened after that? What I realized is I just, the thoughts were there. So I'm, I'm trying to read my word. I'm reading the scriptures and the thoughts were there. And I had to say, dang, okay, this is what it means to continue to um, rebuke thoughts, cast every thought and give it to Jesus. This is what it means. My leaders, I want you to take notice. I truly want you to take notice. What are those things that happen whenever you're getting distracted? What's going on, man? <laughs> like those boots. Thanks, man. <laughs> So I just, I just want to, you know, I'm doing this video kind of like a public announcement for my leaders watching this video today. Have you ever noticed when you are on the verge of doing something 
incredible. The enemy wants to, once again, what's the word? Kill, steal, and destroy, okay? Because, check this out. Think about it. Think about it like this. If, for example, I'm doing videos, right? And I'm spitting messages to the people who are watching this video right now. Or I'm spitting messages to the people that I'm coaching. First thing off, why is it beneficial for the enemy to want to kill off any idea that God wants here on this earth? It's similar to like children. You know, I think we talked about this in the last few videos where when God created you and I and gave birth to you and I, he gave birth to you and I for a specific purpose. And so what is the enemy going to try to do? He's going to try to tell us to abort this kid. He's going to try to tell us to abort this dream, abort this ideas. And how is he going to do this? He's going to distract us with fears. He's going to distract us with anxiety. He's going to distract us with our ability to think that we're not capable. If he can kill off the idea, then he can kill off the encouragement that's going to come in this world, the help that's going to come, right? The influence that's going to come. And so that's what he's gonna do. Like a leader like myself, who, like I told y'all before, dealing with my sexual battles with pornography and masturbation. Why would the enemy want me to veer towards that when I'm spending time with God? Simple fact. So I'm not encouraged to do this, so I can feel defeated. You know what I mean? Um, so I can't coach people. So my energy is not here. All right. So if I don't have this energy, I can't give it back to y'all. Kill, steal, destroy. So now let's talk about let's talk about stealing, thievery. Okay? So what is thievery? Thievery is stealing someone's possessions, stealing something that's not yours. Okay? So how can the enemy steal in the case of distractions? Well, this is simple. Attention. <laughs> attention, attention, attention. But the thing you and I need to do, it requires focus focus it's like i'm on a street right now so a lot of cars are going by right and so i remember back in high school when i used to play basketball and i was a talented basketball player but um i hated playing the game of ball in front of people i had performance anxiety i was just i was i hated large groups i just hated t having too much attention so think about it you're playing the game of ball you're dribbling down the court or you're sitting on a bench, your mind is supposed to be focused on the game, right? Because the game is where your gifts and your talents are. That's the game. But instead of focusing on the game, the enemy is stealing now. He's stealing attention. And so now your attention is on the crowd. You know, what are the people gonna think when I dribble down the court like that? What if I what if I make a bad shot? You know, what if what if <laughs> what if somebody steals the ball from me? Things of that nature, right? And um even now, let's say a lot of us, we want to we want to create these platforms. I mean, I mean a lot of leaders that want to create platforms. And shout out to y'all who are reaching out for me, and reaching out to me. And when I when I look at these creatives, it's like the enemy wants to steal the the focal point of you util, utilizing the gift that you already have. Okay, this is a conversation me and my sister had. The enemy uses thievery to say you know what don't focus on the gift and the product that you're going to produce for the people you know focus on the anxiety focus on once again like i was doing when i was playing ball focus on the fear of what if this is not perfect what if you slip up on your words what if what if you preaching the word of god and and you it, it's not perfect you know or everybody's calling you out on the imperfections it 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 steals the focal point this is thievery your attention has been given to you. You know, my energy has been gifted to me. Kill, steal, and destroy. Another thing about distractions. <laughs> Number three, last one. Another thing about distractions. Kill, steal, destroy. Destroy. You would think, okay, um, when I'm talking about destruction, I'm not talking about uh, complete slaughter. So kill is to just annihilate a dream. But if I can, if I can um, kill, steal, and destroy, if I can destroy something, right? So when something's destroyed, the compartments are still there. Look at a building. I'm at an apartment complex right now, and they're gonna destroy the building completely in about maybe six months to a year. 
And this is significant because I did a video in the past where they brought down this old building. But what they built, my leader, in return is this incredible high rise. I mean, it took them like a year and a half, but this thing is looking phenomenal so far. So when something's destroyed, the compartments are still there. And so how do we, my leader, for a life coaching perspective, how are we destroyed every day? Um, what I realized through coaching and through myself as well too is that a way to be destroyed is wrong relationships. People affirming you in, the, in a negative way. Your ego trying to direct your path instead of the Holy Spirit. Literally getting talked to in a way that you're pathetic. You're not worth nothing. This dream is never going to come to fruition. Negative self-talk. Imposter syndrome. Never feeling like you're adequate. This is how we slowly but surely we break down the kingdom. The leader. The influencer. That is within you. That you actually are. Negative self-talk just all of this doubt and I just want to talk to you today like this is what the enemy does right kill steal and destroy and you may have areas in your life where it's like man okay I feel what you're talking about notice those things distractions are a plague from the enemy you have something phenomenal that you need to do and I just need to let you realize it's a real thing it's a real thing you probably recognize this every single day. I'm, I'm personally last night reading the Bible and all of a sudden sexual temptations come pouring in, just kind of like parading my mind, just like out of nowhere, I'm reading the word of God. So even when you read the word of God, okay, there's things that try to come in. Even when you're doing the right thing, there's things that try to come in to stop you. Pray about it and just continue to remain focused at all costs. Because what you're doing matters. What God wants to get done through you is extremely important, my leader. Okay? Cut off those distractions, man. I love you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we just thank you for today's message. We thank you for this leader who's tuned in across the globe. We thank you for the leaders that continue to come in and watch this leadership platform. Lord, I don't know what it is that this leader is distracted by where the enemy has come in to kill, steal, and destroy. But Lord, I just rebuke the enemy. I rebuke the enemy's games. I rebuke the enemy's schemes. This leader is enough. What they have right now is enough. Who they are is enough. Lord, keep their mind focused on you. Give them the wisdom and the insight to be aware of when these distractions are most likely to come and when they come and, and give them the motivation and encouragement to know why they're coming. These distractions are coming for a reason. The enemy does not want to have them complete what it is that they are looking to complete, what it is that you've placed in their spirit to complete. Father God, allow them to know that they, right now, are enough. Father God, I rebuke distractions. I rebuke distractions that come at the most inappropriate times, Lord. Any distraction is not from you. Lord, allow us to see this and allow us to place our mind back on you. Lord. Father God, I thank you for this message. Allow it to connect with a leader today. Father God, we love you. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. My leader, throw away those distractions. And I'm a firm believer that your life will be changed. We out. Mwah!